She ain't what you think she is. Man, I was with her the other night. Man, I was spending her money. She won't spend mine. Man, she did this and she did that. And they say, when once they get to cooking, they gonna move on. Some, 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 sometimes they leave the nut there with the cooking. Sometimes they leave more than one or two nuts there with the cooking. Then you got to feed the nut. Amen. God is good, y'all. I talk to my little guy. 
teaching them young people what they ought to do in school. Because they were passing condoms out in school. Yeah. Yeah. Now to me, that's saying you go out there and do whatever you want to do. That's all it was saying. Oh, go out and get, get your two or three off the table and go on out there. You ain't got to worry about getting no baby, but you're still doing wrong. And they, not, they, they is not can protect you from everything. Because you don't know where they crack, split, or walk. So, you know, I'm telling you, don't do it. The teacher telling you it's all right to do it. But I don't think they ought to tell other people, children, that it's all right to do it because when you pass it somebody like that, that gives them permission to do it. And when a woman tells her son to go buy something like that, she giving him permission to go out there and live with somebody's daughter. Some women will hurt you about their daughters, y'all. I, I know God knows what he was doing when he didn't give me no. I would have to stay on my knees. I would have had to stay on my knees. I would have been out there. I'm, I'm, see, I'm, I'm more honest than most of y'all. If I had a daughter and somebody did something to her, I'd be out there watching. And it wouldn't be the way you think I would watch. I have Amen. You wouldn't take advantage of my dog. Oh, so God knows what I would do. He would do. But my knees would have been so, but my fist would have too. Not saying that I wouldn't have got you about my ball. Okay. Because I got you about this. Something happened one day, I told Bishop, I said, you better go talk to him. I said, I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do, and I'm going to go pray later. Because I was ready for him. I was ready for him. And y'all were around all y'all want to say, don't nothing stand up in y'all. But when my son came home and told me this, boy, asked him if he want to make some money. That other man stood up in me, and I know I was saved. Yeah. 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 But I was ready to have him. Yeah. 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 Don't fool yourself. I'm saved and I'm sanctified. I know I'm sanctified. And I got the Holy Ghost. But if I have to be happy, somebody can have it, y'all. I ain't forgot nothing that I already know. Amen. Don't fool yourself. I, 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 I'm saved, but I'm not crazy. There's a difference in being saved and being crazy. See, some of y'all sit around and y'all think if y'all little boy so soft and sweet, somebody think you say, you the one got the devil in you. You the one got the devil in you. But you got to be honest with yourself. 
People are going to take advantage of you. God wants us to be humble. But he's not telling us to be crazy. Because if somebody come in here and slap me, I'm going to slap them back. You better believe it. I'm going to slap them back. They're not going to slap me. I'm gonna, I ain't going to turn no other cheek. I'm going to still love them. But I'm going to slap them back. You ain't going to slap me. I ain't going to let my husband slap me. I'm just like a bulldog. I'll bite. <laughs> Amen. God is good. Good. God is good. See, God, God, God can make you what He wants you to be without making you crazy. He knows, He knows how it's going to take you. I was told one time, and I used to pray, Lord, take my temple. Huh. Mom Murphy come and say, Baby, don't ask the Lord to take your temple. <laughs> Say, because the Lord take your temple, everybody's going to take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. Say, this is God to help you to control it. Oh, yeah. Say, but you don't want God to take your temple. Say, because oh, if you do, say, people are going to take advantage of you. Amen. And they will. But if she, she don't just sit there, she's going to take everything that comes along. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to take nothing off my hood. That's just how I say it, baby. I ain't taking nothing off my children and never on the yard. Amen. Amen. And, I'm, Amen. and I'm saved. I'm saved. Yeah. I, I, you know what? Sometimes people say, well, oh, well, she just said it. I'm saved, and I know I'm saved. Yeah. I know the old me, and I know the new me. Okay. Yeah. But God didn't, God didn't, God didn't, God didn't, God, did, God took the, the old man away from me. But he didn't keep forgetting to let the old man stand up if the old man want to stand up. Yeah. That old man is still there if you want him to stand oh, up. Yeah. Okay. Bishop used to tell me all the time, he said, somebody might run me home. He said, but if I ever get in my house, they won't run me out. He said, I'm going to do what I got to do. If half of them in the house and half of them out, I'm going to pull the other part in. Amen. 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 I'm going to tell you, God, God is good. God is good. At least y'all, I got to laugh out of y'all. We're going to talk about the woman with the issue of blood. Because this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Luke, eight chapter. Uh, start Bishop with this. Luke 8, 41. Uh -huh. And behold, there came a man named Jairus. And he was the ruler of the synagogue, and fell down to Jesus' feet, and besought him that he would come into his house. And he had one only daughter, and about twenty, about twenty years, about twenty years mm -hmm. age, and she lived dying. But he went, went the people throwing him, and the woman had an issue of blood. 12 years, which had spent all her living upon the friction and neither could be healed or any, came behind him and touched his gown, his border of his gown, and immediately her issue of blood stank. Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, and they that were with him said, Master, the mother to Thorn thee and press her and press thee and said, Thou who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody has touched me, for I have the seed had gone out of me. It touched me, and the seed had gone uh, out of me. That virgin is gone out of me. And when he, the woman saw that she was not his, she came trembling and falling down before him and declared unto him before all the people for that cause she had touched him and showed him how she was healed immediately. That's it. Amen. I use it for a little thought. Your time is not God's time. Amen. Amen. 
He just felt like the Jesus father just went with him. Hallelujah. Because he said his daughter was dying. Yes. But just God's had on none of his time. Yes. He wanted it then. But God had another plan, y'all. Yes. See, God is in a root of where he's going. Hallelujah. He know where he headed. Yes. And he gonna stay focused on where he going. Yes. See, now Jesus knowing where he was going, he could have stopped. He could have went and called he, the young lady. But it won't time for him to do it. Hallelujah. See, sometimes we want God to come. Yeah. We'll get sick. Yeah. Uh, some of our loved ones will get sick. And we'll go and get on our knees and we'll just cry to the Lord. Hallelujah. And we want the Lord to come right in. Yeah. But the Lord got other things in mind. Yeah. He said, I got to go over here first. I got to see about this sister. Or I got to see about this brother. But our time is not going to time. But God went on. See, he had to be there for the woman with the issue of blood. Hallelujah. For the woman that had spent all that she had. Yeah. And she didn't have nowhere else to turn. Hallelujah. But I believe in my mind. When she went to Jesus, she had made up in her mind. Hallelujah. I'm not going to come back.
enemy want them to, 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 to keep them in the storm. They didn't think that she ought to touch Jesus because she was unclean. But Jesus touched you and you were unclean. So what's the difference? When Jesus saved you, you were unclean. But God reached out. Somebody else don't know it. You just can't tell them. 
Some family members, you can't tell, you cannot tell them. They can't breathe ice water. They don't tell the time you get off the phone, huh? They're gonna pick up the phone and they're gonna call somebody. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. What well, don't you know if you told them they're gonna tell somebody? Mm -hmm. It's bad. You ought to be able to tell your family nothing, anything. But you better not. I don't care their sister, brother, who they is. You better not. Because they got somebody they like to talk to. And us old people, we ought to be good and seasoned and not do that. Hallelujah. Our children don't respect us when we get on the phone and tell them everything. We might think they respect, but how can they respect you? Because they're not going to tell you they business. Because they know if you tell other people business, you're going to tell their business. So we ought to be like this woman here. We ought to go to Jesus. Amen. And it's still going to man. Yeah. And I imagine sometimes I say a hymn is, some hymns is wide, some hymns is, you know, small. And I say I believe Jesus' hymn was not a small hymn. And when she told him, the virgin, he had so much anointing in it now. The anointing come out of his body Lord. and went through his gas. And that was anointing on that was anointing. It went out into the clothes. Oh, yeah. And the clothes had power. Oh, power. The power of the clothes went out into her. Yeah. He said, I failed the first. Uh -huh. That's the only people stacked around you. It's a multitude of people. Uh -huh. Stack around you, you know somebody gonna tell you. He said, well, it was a different than that to yeah. This church was like no other church. Oh, and that's the way it is when Jesus slept. That church is like no other church. I don't care how many times he touched it after You always can remember church. When God said, yes, he left our church like that too. I don't care how much you pray. How much you pray. There's something about that church. When God saved you, it was like a new, a new you. What you want to do wrong, God said, don't do it no more. What you want to say, sometimes I don't say that no more. Well, the place that you used to go, you didn't want to go there no more. Because you were a new you. Just a touch. Just a touch made this woman whole. Just a touch can make us whole. But we got to have a man. He said, come with a willing man. I'm ready when you read. Sometimes people say, I'm waiting on God. You ain't waiting on God. Because God ain't never went nowhere. He waiting on you. He was there when you left. He's going to be there when you come back. He waiting on you. But this world, she had another faith to believe in this church. And here we go. And we want to touch him all over. And still don't have no faith. And still don't believe him. Sometimes God touch us.
sift through it. I can sift through it, though. That's what they do in string. Mm -hmm. And they put it back in. So you think about if that blood didn't go back in, you ain't gonna live one day. You ain't gonna live one day. Because a lot of quite a few people lately I've been hearing about, they go home and lay down and bleed out. I can't even get bitches to lay down. I don't think that's the reason. But he, I never know if they come home and lay down after that. He come home to go up in the car porch and read the paper. Yes, he, he, he said, I read the paper. Then he got to come to the house and get him something to eat. And he said, most of you get his bath after he read the paper. Then he'll get him something to eat. And if I ain't kept him, he said, I'll be back after a while. I'm going across town. <laughs> So he don't say that. Right. I asked him so I said, well, everybody else said they go home and they lay down. I said, why you don't lay down? He said, no, I don't want to lay down. Yes. So he got the mind to keep moving. Amen. But I never noticed since he's been on Dallas to come home and lay down. He went and got him a new clown. And uh, the one with the black, black vibrator on. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and uh, uh and uh, he got the, the heat warmer on. Yeah. Got all that stuff on. Oh, that's all right. Man. Yeah, the mother don't. What you think of us? Yeah. Got all that stuff. I told him the other day, I said, why you don't use that stuff? I'm wasting my money. Feel good. Use the trust. I said, last couple of days, I believe you didn't use it, mother don't. He let it back. Rock take his shoes off. Rock his feet up. Get comfortable. And, and last night, Ellie with Mark and Ellie said, Jane and Man. <laughs> she got over there in his chair and covered up. Jane and Man. <laughs> Jane and Man, you heard me break me a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> she got a pound, baby. She, she, she got a pound. <laughs> I said, she can say that, Jane and Man. Jane and Man. Jane and Man. <laughs> She said, I'm Freeman Jr. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they break me up, right. break me up, I'm on the wall. Yeah. But God is good. I gave y'all what God gave me. I'll give y'all what God gave me.